Hello everybody, it's Ornal Wolf, and today we are back in another video. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to download, install Forge, and use it with the Twitch launcher. I'm going to be doing a series of these videos where I'm going to make a playlist and show you different ways of how you can install mods for 1.15.2. Right, so... Without further ado, um, I'm going to show you guys some things that you're going to need prerequisite to this tutorial. So first thing that you're going to need is you're going to need the Twitch desktop app. So if you have got Windows, you either download for Windows. If you've got Mac OS, you download for Mac OS. Sadly, if you have Linux, there's no chance of you being able to do this tutorial with Twitch. However, there are other options that I can explore in other videos for you guys. However, if you have Windows or Mac, download the appropriate version of the Twitch app for your you know, particular operating system, and then make sure you download and install that. When you go to your downloads, you should have a little file that looks like this. It'll be Twitch setup, and then basically you will say double click on that and install it to the particular place that you'd like to install it to, and it'll do that for you. It's quite nice. Other than that, another thing that you're going to need is basically the default vanilla minecraft launcher as you can see i am already signed into my account here so ordinal wolf um if you haven't already you're going to need to purchase the java edition of minecraft this does not work for the windows 10 edition so i'm going to boldly state that modded minecraft for forge does not work on windows 10 edition of minecraft so you're going to need to go to the minecraft website go get minecraft um, once again, choose your specific operating system that's particular to your system. So if you've got a PC, choose PC, Mac, Mac, Linux, Linux. So you should know what you have. And then you want to go on the Java edition of Minecraft. Um, it'll ask you to buy Minecraft if you haven't already. I have obviously bought Minecraft, so if I click buy Minecraft, what it's going to do is it's just going to load through and actually just go, you can just download it. Um, I've also already downloaded this, so what you'll get for Windows, you'll get an MSI file. Um, I don't quite know what you're going to get for um, Mac OS, but it'll be possibly an executable type, so it could be like an EXE or a DMI or something. So look out for that, and that'll be in your specified downloads folder when you go to download it. Um, but other than that, so make sure you install those two things. Last thing that you're going to need is, I shall bring this across is minecraft forge so what you're going to want to do is you're wanting to just get the latest version of forge or if you're say trying to download a specific mod so say um i don't know quark and it suggests a particular version of forge or it says it only works for a certain version of forge i suggest you download the appropriate version of forge that it says that it works for if it's a mod that suggests um, a version of Forge, go for the latest version of Forge because Forge would likely still work unless it's changed between the versions. Um, if it doesn't work, then you can always install a earlier version of Forge which is compatible with your mod. So just to start off with, go with the latest and then if it doesn't work, download the recommended version and try and work your way around it so once again you would just to download it hit installer it's pretty simple pretty easy it'll go through a little ad block um well not ad block but it'll go through an ad focus link um and then once again you would hit skip and then you would download it as you can see i've already got it in my downloads, so i'm not going to download it again but then once you've done that you can close that and it's all good to go so you've got all these three things. Now, to actually start, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open your Twitch launcher. If you haven't already, you're going to want to sign up or log in to a Twitch account. Um, they're quite simple to make, so if you want to sign up, just input you know a new username, password, and all your you know you say like your name and your age. Very simple things, similar to signing up to any other website. And then basically what you're going to want to do is you're just going to open this. Um, now you're going to want to go to the mods tab, which is at the top of the app. And basically you should see Minecraft. Um, mine is not grayed out, but for you, if you have only just installed this, it should be grayed out. If you've got it previously installed, 
then it won't be. Um, if you click on it and it is grayed out, it'll ask you to install Minecraft and then sign into a Minecraft launcher. So just do that when it asks you to do that. Obviously, I've already done this um, ahead of time because I've already got mod packs in here. Um, but I'm just telling you guys so you know. Now, um, basically, to get started, what you're going to want to do is once you've gotten to a screen that's like this, um, yours should be blank if you haven't installed a mod pack before. But basically what you want to do if you're doing this for 1.15.2 is you want to go create custom profile. Now you can give this whatever name you, that you like. So I'm just going to, for this purpose, give it the name of tutorial. Then you're going to want to choose the version of Minecraft that it's going to be running on. So you're obviously going to want to hit the drop down menu and hit 1.15.2. And then it will also show you guys the version of Forge. Now, the reason why I asked you guys to download Forge before is sadly because launching from Twitch does not work. So you have to launch it from the default vanilla Minecraft launcher. So that is why you have to download it, you know, on its own standardized thing. So you can create your profile once you've done that and it'll apply patches and it'll say that it's done. But it does, sadly, you can't launch it through here. But the good thing about Twitch is that you can utilize it to download all the relevant mods to your version of Forge. And what it also seems to do is downloads, say, mods. Um, so say if you have, um, for example, chicken bones, um, say, ender chests, and you need the chicken bones library, it would download the um, kind of depended library for that as well. So it'll get any other mods that your mod needs to run while it's doing so. Which is quite nice to be fair. Now, basically if you want to um, download some mods, you basically will just have this. It'll say no hosted mods installed. Now to install some mods, you basically want to just hit get more content. It's pretty simple. There'll be a list of mods that you can get and you can just download the ones that you want. Now, one thing I'll suggest to you guys, so if you see this mod, Apple Skin, now a 1.12.2, this was specifically just for, you know, Forge. However, they've also got a Fabric Launcher version for 1.15.2 and I think 1.14.4. So what you want to do, if a mod has this little icon here, I'm just going to put my cursor underneath it, but it looks like a black kind of square with a scroll on top of it, you'll either want to click on it and then make sure that you download the appropriate version or if it says in the name fabric or if it says in the description fabric only or something similar then you sadly will not be able to install it to work with forge however if it's a mod say like apple skin which has versions of both forge and fabric then you can choose the Forge version. So what you want to do is if it has both Forge and Fabric versions, is basically you want to click on the mod like I have just done, then go to versions, and then you want to make sure that when you go to versions, you download the latest version which says Forge. So for this particular one, Apple Skin, I'm going to download this release. And um, basically what we should see is that's installed in our little mods list. Um, I'll get one other mod, so I'll get um, just enough items and journey map. There we go. I said one mod. I've now gotten two. That's totally fine. So as you can see, I've got three mods there, which is quite nice. And basically, once we've done this, don't really need it anymore. It's kind of nice. So you can just close that, get it out of there. Now, right. So next thing that we're going to want to do is basically you want to go to your downloads folder. What you're also going to want to do is you want to double click on your Forge installer. Now basically, you're going to want to just go to your default Minecraft .minecraft location. If you have changed this, then you want to make sure that you specify it to the same place that you've got your .minecraft folder in. So if you know how to change your .minecraft folder location, please when you install Forge, change the location to that. If you if you haven't, it should still be the default setting. So for instance, on Windows, it's in your roaming folders. So if I was to go um, Windows R and basically go percent app data percent. Basically, my dot Minecraft folder is right there, as you can see. And then basically, if I was just to close that, um, as you can see, it's targeting that dot Minecraft folder and it'll be there. 
so we'll just leave it as is and we go hit install client and basically you'll download all the libraries and everything that it needs to install the forge mod loader and then it'll be done it should say successfully installed if it doesn't you want to check the crash log to see if it's something to do with your system if it isn't then you'll want to make sure that you pass that crash log on to Forge. Or if you can't work it out, once again, please pass it on to the developers of Forge. Um, you can either find them on Reddit or basically on their website. They'll have a link for you guys to go contact them. And basically, then you can try and solve your issue. Now, basically, once Forge is installed, um, you should have already installed your Minecraft launcher, like I said earlier. Now, once you've installed Forge, you open up your Minecraft launcher. Once you've opened your Minecraft launcher, it should basically look like this. You'll have 1.15.2 as your latest release. What you want to do is you want to go to the installations tab. And then basically what we're going to do is we're going to create a new installation with this little button up here that says new. Click on that. You can change the icon for your installation up here. So right now it's a furnace. We can change it to any one of these little icons that's in here. So for this purpose, I'm going to use this one and I'm going to name it tutorial in the name bar. Now, since we've installed Forge, you'll want to go to the version selection that's on this little one here. It should be a drop down menu and basically you want to install the latest version of Forge or you know, select it. Now the thing is, is I've obviously installed multiple versions of Forge as it's been updating, but you'll want to make sure that you go for the latest one. It should be the very top one. Um, if not, just make sure that it's the kind of the latest version and corresponds to the one that's on the Forge website. So the latest version as of this recording is 31.1.77. So I'm going to select that. Now, so we've already made our Twitch instance. And basically what we need to do is when we launch Minecraft, we need it to launch with those mods that we downloaded into our instance in Twitch. So to do that, where it says game directory, it says that it will use default directory, which means the .minecraft directory. We wish to change that so that it works from Twitch. Now to do that, basically close all of that. Um, as you can see, that's just my user. Now for me, I've got a multiple hard drives. Um, whereas for you guys, if you only have one hard drive, um, you may, it should be in program files and then you should see a folder that's called twitch i have multiple hard drives so basically mine's on a different one and i've just installed it into a separate drive called programs slash recordings and then i've got a program files folder here and this is where my twitch folder is located yours should be located on your c drive by default in program files um so once you've hit into program files and you've found your Twitch folder, you want to open your Twitch folder. Now you'll see a drop down with backups, downloads, install, and instances. Now if you click on instances, you should see the various instances that you have. If you've only just started, you'll only have the one that you've created. So for this tutorial one, we're just going to click on the tutorial folder. And that's all you have to do click on the tutorial folder or click on whatever you named it and click OK and that will point towards our Twitch instance but once you've done all of that hit create pretty simple and as you can see our little instance is there now if you go back to play and then you hit the drop down and choose your instance and then basically just hit play and basically what it'll do is it should download all the libraries if you haven't got them already. For me, I've already got them, so it's downloaded them all previously and it's just running. And it'll start Minecraft up and bam, you should just, you should have five mods loaded or whatever amount of mods that you had installed. So it's pretty simple, pretty easy. As you can see, five mods loaded. Mods, Apple skin, journey map, just enough items to forge in Minecraft. So it's pretty simple. If this didn't work for you and you had say a crash issue on your way, it, it should tell you why it's crashed. If not, look in the crash log and find out which mod was responsible. You may have to do a little bit of um, digging and it'll have like a particular mod name where it's say 
trying to load a particular item or texture and then basically what you'll want to do is when you find the particular say item issue class or whatever from a particular mod that's crashing your minecraft as it launches you'll want to go see if you can report it to the mod developer for that particular mod and then they can tell you whether or not it's a conflict with another mod or they can tell you if it's an issue with their mod you have to remember that 1.15.2 is fairly new for modders at the moment so they're still developing their mods to work cohesively with the forge mod loader and once again forge mod loader is also just kind of slowly progressing and getting more stable and more stable as we go it's not fully properly great just yet but it will get there eventually so you just have to kind of do your best um, just to show you guys that it works we're just going to create a quick creative world and um, I shall just show you guys that the mods that I installed are working perfectly fine and um, yeah other than that it's pretty simple right so as you can see journey map is installed it's right there in the top right corner of my screen and then if we look into the inventory just enough items is here on the side which is quite nice and we did have apple skin that thing is only visible when in <laughs> survival mode right and i finally whittled down my hunger to a point where i'm actually hungry as you can see i've got half a half a hunk there that i need to fill up so apple skin basically just adds a little nice overlay and absorption layer to your hunger bar so it's quite nice and useful in that regard so if i was to eat that now it just shows you that i've got a little bit of saturation and that i fully eaten so yeah other than that that just shows you guys that the mods are now working um and yeah hope you guys found that useful and um, hopefully you guys can get some mods installed for yourselves now. Um, if you guys have any suggestions or queries, please leave a comment down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, leave a like and subscribe. We recently just hit 1800 subscribers as of to, well, a couple of days ago. So probably like, I don't know, the 8th of the 5th of 2020. We hit 1800 subs so thank you guys so much for that i'm um, super stoked and happy about that um however i'm sure we can get to 2000 eventually there's only another 200 um i believe in you guys you guys are absolutely amazing so if you haven't subscribed already please smash that subscribe button you can kind of maybe gently touch the like button if you'd like that's probably a bit nicer um, <laughs> other than that you can also follow me on social media so you can go follow me on facebook and twitter at ordinal wolf that'll be on screen as well as the links in the description once again for this tutorial all, all links for the programs and installers that you need i shall leave links down in the description and fingers crossed you guys should be able to get your hands on those as well other than that hope you guys found this tutorial was useful and um yeah I shall see you in the next one. There should be some more coming soon. Right, take care and goodbye.